Alright, well I figure I should pump out one more LP before I go to California to visit my bro, so... I'm going to be doing one over there, but you know... Just to uh, fill in the gap. We're going to play a game I played in my childhood and really did enjoy. Uh, this is Looney Tunes for the G or Game Boy. Uh, there is a color version, but I'm going to play the black and white version, just the original chunky Game Boy version, because that's the one that I grew up with. Now, as a kid, this game was really tough. Looking back at it, it is not nearly as tough as it used to be. So, right here we got Yosemite Sam. Dies very easily. So yeah, he's just a big pushover. Oh man, I just... I don't know. It's not nostalgia, I really think this is a good game. But I used to love this game as a kid. And I love these things. They looked like giant chickens to me as a kid. Because I couldn't call them anything else. I wasn't very, uh... I wasn't very educated in, uh, the different types of birds of the world, so I just kind of called them giant chickens. I don't even know what to call them right now. You know, we'll just go along with that. I never knew what these were either. I kind of thought they were, like, some kind of chipmunk. Beats me. They were weird looking, though. <clears throat> So, moving along, yeah, I hate those boulders. They don't really come back until much later, but they are a pretty annoying hazard. They just kind of randomly come out of nowhere and attack you. <clears throat> but anyways, this, uh, this had to be one of my favorite games for the Game Boy. I remember this underwater section giving me so much trouble as a kid. But yeah, it's a it's a really great game. Um, if if you want to, go uh, download a ROM of it if you have a Game Boy emulator and check it out. It's definitely a good game. So you can jump on things in water. These things... These guys have a decent bit of health. You have to jump on their heads twice and you have to hit them with this... I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is it like a boomerang? Or not a boomerang, but one of those flying discs? I don't know. I couldn't tell you what it is, but, you know. It's your projectile most of the time. You gonna do anything, Sam? Sam? There you go. He's kinda absorbed in that giant spike thing. So yeah, for the most part, this is not a very hard game. It's a very fun game, though. And as a kid, I did have trouble with it. I don't know. Uh, this part coming up here, I used to always fall into the... these big... You'll see what it is. It's this big pit with, like, bubbles rushing into it, and it makes you fall down a lot faster than usual. I don't know why, but I had so much trouble getting out of those if I fell into them. Maybe it was just, um, the way the A button was pressed, or the way the A button was positioned that was harder to press than on a keyboard. Either way, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know, I just had so much trouble with these areas. Right now, I can do easily, and right there, I even overestimated it and fell into the spikes and died. Or jumped into the spikes and died. But you get the idea. <clears throat> you don't have a lot of health, either. You gotta be pretty careful. Not extremely, but, you know. You don't, you don't want to get cocky. Right there, I had a little bit of trouble getting out of there. I guess that may have been the problem I had sometimes. Either way, not something you want to get stuck in. Giant Vortex from Hell. Oh god, fish. Cheap Jeeps must die. I demand the death of all fish-like creatures in this place. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's the boss. I find that the easiest way to defeat this guy is just to jump on him. Of course, I'm going to die from this because of that, but, you know. We'll get him next time. He doesn't have much health at all. He is a tough one, though. Bum, 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 bum. I remember dying so much to this guy. I cannot tell you. It was pretty ridiculous and kind of embarrassing how much trouble I had with him. Anyways, that's the end of Daffy's stage. Um, cool thing about this game, you play as a different Looney Tunes character in each stage. This next one is going to be a bit different. 
like each stage keeps it fresh with the kind of point of the stage. That one was more just straightforward, um, running around, you know, platforming sort of stuff. This one is more avoiding Sylvester because nothing hurts you. They can only, like, hit you forward or backwards. Like, that kid, those baseballs don't hurt you. They only uh, kind of propel you in a certain direction. The only thing that can kill you is if you fall into one of these manholes like I just did, stupidly, or if you get caught by Sylvester, which just damages damages you once and then you escape. But yeah, as a kid, I really enjoyed this game. I'm not doing great on lives right now, but we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Get out of my way, kid! Ah. I could never tell what that kid was supposed to be. Got Sylvester's... Is it his son? I could never tell if it was just something or... I don't know. I haven't watched Looney Tunes in such a long time, but I know I used to enjoy it a lot. Eat that! I took your extra life, and what are you gonna do about it? That dynamite might actually hurt you. Well, of course, it's dynamite. I don't think it's going to help you much. Oh, crap! Dang it! Oh, man. I could be doing a lot better. Also, there's no checkpoint in this level, so... Just bear with me here. I'm not gonna skip over anything. If only he didn't catch me right over the manhole, I would've been fine. I'll just jump on his head. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, God. Well, that worked out pretty nicely, I have to say. It was pretty fancy flying, or jumping on some guy's head and letting him carry you around. CARRY ME TO THE MOON! He just runs straight into that manhole cover. He couldn't be any more satisfied with anything else but to run into a manhole cover, hoping that I'll fall into it with him, but... Unluckily, he didn't suspect that I had the ability of jumping! RUN FASTER! Oh god! Don't stop running! Ah! Oh god, gotta be careful in these areas, don't wanna screw anything up. You can only, um, flap your wings so many times before you get tired enough to fall over. Bird seed! That's the whole point of the level. Just get to the bird seed and, uh, apparently it causes a nuclear stage clear screen, which kills everything in the level. Here's one that always gave me trouble. The shooter level. This is Porky Pig's level, and I had so much trouble with the boss of this. Uh, you'll see it when it ha- or, you'll see it, and then I'll point out why I died so much, but it was a pain in the butt. Also, uh, you'll know when we get to the boss, because the sunset in the background, the sun slowly gets lower in the sky, and when it finally disappears, then the boss will come up, so... That's a way that you can tell when that's gonna happen. These will explode when they get near you, not at any certain point, until they get to a certain distance close enough to you. I hate these satellite things. UFOs I don't have a huge problem- ow! Oh, I don't have a huge problem with, but otherwise it can be a bit of a pain. I don't know, it's a, it's not a very hard game in general, it's not a very hard level, this certain one. It's a challenging game, but it's never really, really frustratingly hard. We should have enough time to finish this stage. And here's which lady. Pretty much just gotta shoot at her until that happens, and then you have to fight this thing. And, oh god, I have some not-so-fond memories of this thing. Especially that fork. That fork homes in on you. It is the health fork. Oh, crap. Yep. Yep, there's your health fork. But, luckily, the game is merciful, and you just continue from where you were. You lose your life still, of course, but, you know. They don't make you start over the whole level. So, that's good. I hate this guy, though. 
Either way, we're almost done with him. Take care of that fork and kill you. You shall not dine on my porky porkishness this night. Points. So many points. Now we have Taz, so we'll continue next time with this kind of pointless but fun stage. Alright, see y'all later.